My name is Velma Buford and I'm from Oxford, Mississippi. I served in the military for 31 years. My last few years in the military were reserved. At our 40th birthdays, we were required to take a mammogram. So I had, I had drill that weekend, I took a mammogram. They said they saw something, but they didn't know what it was. So I had to come back home and do another test. And the doctor was not satisfied with the test, and so he wanted to go in and do a biopsy. So I did it. And he finally called me back in, and he told me that it was cancer. I sit there and I cried. And I thought about it, I was like, okay, doc, what are we gonna do now? He said, huh? I said, what are we gonna do now? Cause I'm beating this. I feel like God left me here for a reason. I had an accident in 2006 while going to work one morning. And I, in the process of the accident, I ended up having to be in the hospital. I ended up having a broke neck, brain damage, and I ended up having a stroke. And I don't remember anything about the accident. It was hard going back to being an infant at 46 years old and you can't do anything for yourself. And with the, with the halo on, I really couldn't do anything. I couldn't turn my neck, I couldn't do anything. And for the longest, I didn't even know why I was in the hospital, because I thought I had another bad breast report. It took a while to get back to normal. I had to start out slow. My boss even let me come to work for a few hours a day because she knew I wasn't the type of person that's at home. Yes, ma'am. And your studio is 2200 a month, or has that changed? You know, you have to do, you have to do what you have to do. There's not enough hours in the day, and people always tell me, sit down, but how can I sit down when there's so much to do? When I think of something I have to do, I just get up and do it. I cook, I work, I take care of my mom, I do it all. Okay, once more, there we go. And my dad had emphysema real bad, and he ended up passing 2017. So I'm here taking care of my mom. I figure God left me here for a reason, so I gotta take care of my parents. If she hadn't taken care of me, where would I be? If they had not taken care of me, where would I be? I mean, you have to think about it. Life is not just about having fun. You gotta be thankful for things as well as they are, the small and the big. And you gotta go through some storms in life to appreciate the, the hard times. Cause he never said life would be a bed of roses. You're gonna have some rough times in your life if you live on this earth. And I think it was my faith in God that kept me this strong. Because if I hadn't, who knows where I would be. A friend of mine told me one time that it does not kill me will only make me strong. And I think all of this made me strong. Everything I've gone through, everything in life happens for a reason. And this just made me a stronger person. In spite of it all, I've had a good life. In spite of everything, I've traveled. I've been to places I never thought I would see. I've eaten foods I never thought I would eat. I mean, I've had a good life. 58 years old, I've had a good life. I would tell anyone that no matter what happens in life, don't give up and don't give in. Remember that God has the final say so. No matter what man says, God has got to find the says Because everybody said I was dead. Even the highway patrolman that worked the scene that morning told them that if I made it home, I would be a vegetable. But look at me now. God is good, baby. Don't give up and don't give up.